Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss one interview question. One of my paid student received this question in interview and he gave a wrong answer in the interview. So that's why I'm making this video. Question is very simple here. You can see, can we configure 192.168.1.0 slash 31 on router interface? This is question. Can we configure this IP address on router interface? IP address is 192.168.1.0 slash 31. Lot of people are thinking no, because this is a network ID. We cannot configure this IP address on router interface because this is a network ID because in the last octet value is 0. 192.168.1.0 slash 31. But right answer of this question is yes, we can configure this IP address on router interface. I am going to show you how you can configure it and it will work fine. Okay. But before discussing the uh, question, let me tell you, see here between router 1 and router 2, we need one subnet. But we need how many IP addresses between router 1 and router 2? In this subnet, how many IP addresses is required? Only two IP addresses is required, right? So we should use, we all know we should use, you know, subnet with slash 30 or subnet mask should be 255, 255.255.255.252 or slash 30. So that we will get only two valid IP address. But in this subnet, so less 30, not 32. In this subnet, we will get, get four IP addresses. Like if I will talk about the all IP address, I will get one IP address. Let's say my network is 192.168.1.0 slash 30. So here in this subnet, we have four IP address. One is 192.168.1.0. Second one is 192.168.1.0. 1.1.1 third one is 192.168.1.2 and fourth one is 192.168.1.3 this is the broadcast id last ip address is the broadcast id this is broadcast broadcast id this is network id first ip address is known as network ID. This is network ID and we cannot configure network ID and broadcast ID on router interface. And this is my first valid IP address, first valid IP and this is second valid IP, second valid IP, correct? So maybe on router number one, you will configure this IP address on router number two, you will configure this IP address. But here in this subnet network ID and broadcast ID is not required because here we don't have any host, right? We are configuring IP between point to point connection between point to point devices like router one is directly connected with router number two. So here network ID is not required. Broadcast ID is not required. Right. I need only two IP address. So instead of using slash 30, we should use slash 31. We should use slash 31. And if we will use slash 31, we will get only two valid IP address. One is 192.168.1.0 with slash 31. We will get 192.168.1.0 and 192.168.1.1 right and now we can configure these two ip address on router interface because by default on router there is one feature that is that feature is by default enable and that feature is called ip subnet 0 ip subnet 0 and if you are thinking that this 192.168.1.0 is the network id and 192.168.1.1 is the broadcast id so guys what i am telling you that this feature like ip subnet 0 feature allow you to use first and last network in your network design it is allow you to use first and last network in your network i will give you an example on this also like on ip submit also but before that let me show you we can configure this ip address on router interface or not so here i have two router router one and router two on router number one and router number two on router number one 
let me configure the IP this IP first interface f0 slash 0 say no set here and then IP address I'm going to say 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.255 with slash 31 submit mask will be 255.255.255.254 so here you can see this command is accepted here and now you can verify the IP configuration also so IP interface brief we can say exclude and assign so IP address on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is 192.168.1.0. Maybe this is shocking for you guys, but it is true. Yes, we can configure IP ad this IP address on router interface. So when in next time interview is asking this type of question, uh, you should say yes instead of saying no. And on router number two, I can configure 192.168.192.168. One sixty eight dot one dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two fifty four and here also we can verify the IP so IP interface brief IP address on fast Ethernet zero slash zero is this one and from router number one I am going to ping let me show you the ping is also working or not one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one see ping it will also work ping ping is also working and now if I will debug ICMP debug IP ICMP so you can see uh, again I am going to ping so see ping is working and source is this one source IP address 192.168.1.1 destination IP address 192.168.1.0 so this is also valid IP address this is also valid IP address this is a network ID this is a broadcast ID but because of IP subnet 0 we can use it right and by default IP subnet 0 is enabled on router interface but we cannot see it in running configuration like if you will check running configuration there is no any command available right which will show you the IP subnet now let me give you one another example of IP subnet 0 here let's say I have one network 192.168. again same 1.0 slash this is by default CIDR value slash 24. Let's say if I am using slash 25, 192.168.1.0 slash 25. This is not slash 25, let's say 20 slash 26. This is my subnet. So here, how many subnet we have? Four. First subnet is 192.168.1.0. Second subnet is 192.168.192.168.1.0. 2nd subnet will be 64, 64, 3rd subnet will be 192.168.1.128 uh, and 4th subnet will be 192.168.1.192.168.1.192. These are 4 subnet. So if you have disabled the IP subnet 0 feature on router, then you are not allowed to use 1st subnet and last subnet you are not allowed to use first subnet and last subnet you cannot configure IP address from this subnet and this subnet so what I am going to do here let me disable let me run this command no IP subnet IP subnet 0 0 and router and after that let me try to configure these IP address here is the topology let me side here put the topology here and these are the network okay and now I am going to configure one IP address like on router number one let's say fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 say no IP address first I have removed the IP on router number two also I am going to remove the IP interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 say no IP address no IP address. I have this removed the IP configuration. Now on router number one on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, I am going to configure one IP address, let's say from sub first subnet 192.168.1.0 is the first subnet. From this subnet, I am going to use IP address, let's say 1 and 255.255.255.0. Sorry, not 0. Let me say no to this also. 26 now, so 192. Here 192. And you can see I am able to configure this IP address do so IP interface brief you know why I am able to configure this IP address IP address from first subnet because 
IP subnet zero feature is enabled. Here I am going to disable IP subnet zero command. Say no, no IP subnet zero. I have disabled it and from fast ethernet zero slash zero, I am going to remove the IP configuration. Let me run this command. No to this, no to this. And again, see what error I am getting. Bad submit mask slash 26 for IP address this one. Do so IP interface brief. We don't have any IP address on fast ethernet zero slash zero. It automatically it have removed. That means if IP submit zero, feature is disabled we cannot configure ip address from first subnet so here we have only two subnet here we have only two subnet Num first one is 192.168.1.64 and second one is 192.168.1.128 from first subnet and from the last subnet we cannot configure ip address see from the second subnet i can still configure ip address like ip address 192.168.1.65 and 255.255.255.192 see i am able to configure here but here if ip address is from first subnet like dot one dot one one dot one i am not able to configure and from the last submit also from this submit let's say 193 193 this is the ip address from last submit so 192, 192 and 193 it should do so IP interface brief here IP address on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is this one um, maybe this is you know problem of GNS3 but it will not take this IP address also if IP submit 0 command is enabled if it's disabled okay so if ip subnet zero command is disabled we have four subnet if ip subnet zero command is enabled we have only two zero two subnet here after submitting okay like on router number two also here say no ip subnet no ip no ip subnet no ip subnet zero and interface fast ethernet zero slash zero ip address is 192.168.1. let's say 10 255.255.255.192 see i am not able to configure this ip address right and it we should you know it should not take ip address from fourth submit also from the last submit like 193 193 it's saying duplicate IP address because we have configured same IP address on router number one so here we can configure IP address from let's say 65 from the another submit yes we can configure it okay so now what I am going to do I am going to disable this feature no IP subnet sorry IP enable this feature IP subnet zero and on router number one also i am going to enable this feature ip subnet zero and by default this feature is enabled okay so here what i am going to do now interface fast ethernet zero slash zero now i can configure ip address from first submit like 192.168.1.1255.255.255.192 and on router number two also interface fast ethernet zero slash zero ip address is 192.168.1.2 let's say 255.255.255.192 so simply what we can say what we can say simply that that this command ip subnet zero feature allow you allow us to use first and last subnet in uh, you know network design that's it so that's all for today guys just i was discussing this question but i have discussed ip submit zero also because this is uh, related to this question so hope now uh, it is clear to you that yes we can use this ip address from this submit now guys if this is new for you uh, please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye thanks for watching